the Church of Israel United in Christ, and we're here to teach you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who you are according to the Bible. Right. For so long, our identities have been hidden. We've been called Asiatic black men. We call black men, African American. Different titles. As the times changes, our nationality changes. But why is it that just for these people? Why? Because it's a lie. And we're going to show you that according to the Bible. Not only that, we're going to show you what God calls you, all right? Real fast, let me ask you. Your father. Your father. Come on, come on. We're not going to bite you. We're not going to bite you. Your father. You see this sign right here? All right? On the left-hand side are the Israelites. On the right-hand side is what society calls the Israelites. God, this is God's chosen names for his children. Give me Deuteronomy 76. And if you look on the sign, what was your father? What was his nationality? What would you identify with? American black? West Indian black? American black. Oh, all oh, praises. That's the tribe of Judah. All right? The American black... Excuse me. The American blacks are the so uh, the so-called American blacks are the tribe of Judah. You know who Jesus the Christ is? You know who Jesus Christ is? Let me ask you a question. What nationality is Jesus the Christ? Give me, give me a Hebrew seven. Right. You don't know, right? What is he? What is he portrayed as? White man, right? Now, we're gonna show you with the Bible. Is that true or is that false? Now, it's something that we just heard and just ran with. Am I right? right. Some just word of mouth, hey, psh. But where else would you hear about Christ? What, uh, what book in the world would you hear about Christ? Other than the Bible. Exactly. Nowhere else. So it's best to look in the Bible to find out what Christ looks like, right? So, Christ. Christ had, came from one of these tribes. And we're going to show you that right now. What tribe did Christ? Jesus the Christ, the greatest man on this earth. What tribe he came from. So we're going to show the world, everybody out here, what Jesus the Christ, what's his nationality? And what did Jesus the Christ look like? And what does it mean to you? All right, read what you got. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident. So it is evident or it is obvious. If it's evident, everybody knows this. Read. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of what? Out of Judah. So if Christ was walking the earth today... Christ would be a so-called black man. That's right. A so-called black man. Right. And we're going to prove that now. Give me Revelation. Drop that. Give me Revelations 1 and verse 14. Have you ever heard this before? You heard this before. Ah, okay. So we're going to show you in the Bible. Christ's features. And then notice that you, you're the same way now. Not only are we going to do that, I'm going to show you the importance of why knowing that you're an Israelite. Or why knowing that you're a Jew. All right? Read what you got. Revelations 1 and verse 14. Up. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Like what? Like wool. Who has woolly textured hair on this earth today? What nationality of people? Uh, I would think like Indian. Indians? I mean, white, white hair. No. Woolly textured hair. I'm going to give you a hint. Well, wool, is, I mean, I have wool. Right? There we go. There we go. You have woolly hair. There we go. Yeah. Right here. That brother. That brother. That brother. Yourself. Woolly textured hair. All right. So it was white like wool. Why? Because Christ's hair turned white completely because of wisdom. All right. Read on. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, the reason why his eyes was a flame of fire. It's not talking about literally on fire. What it's talking about is, you know, when people drink a lot. Especially very, very dark textured skin colored men. When they drink a light over a while, their eyes turn red. I know you've seen it before. It turns red. Not because of, sometimes because of drugs, but majority, majority of the times because over years use of drinking. So Christ drank wine. He didn't get drunk, but Christ drank wine. All right. So read on. Verse 14. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. You ever seen what a piece of brass looks like? What color is brass? Uh, pretty much like a brownish, goldish color, kind of like brownish gold. There we go. There we go. Like there we go. A brownish, goldish color. You can't get that. You see that? You can't get that out of brass. You can't get that out of brass. 
So already a brown hue, right? Now, not only with that brown hue, read, and his voice, excuse me, as his, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. Now you burn anything, what color does it turn? Simple, black. Christ was a dark, very dark skinned man. Very dark skinned man. So not only that, showing you what Christ looked like, let me show you what his people look like and what his people still look like today. Give me Jeremiah, you know what I want. You so-called blacks, you so-called Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans. You were not put on this earth just to work for a paycheck and die. That's not your purpose on this earth. You are God's tools. You are the Jews. We are the Israelites, God's chosen people. And we're going to show you that today, one way or another, all right? Now, what did God's people look like? Let's read it, thus saith the Lord. Excuse me. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Come on. Judah morning. Do what? Judah morning. Judah is a morning right now. Why? Because his people are oppressed and the worst parts of the city can't get help. Read. And the gates thereof languish. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. Now I see that, you know, they are what? Black. All right, all praises. Now, I see that you're about to depart. Now, I'm going to get to the important part with you. You understand that you're, you're not a so-called black man. You're not an African-American. You understand that you are a Jew from the tribe of Judah. So now, just knowing that, that will that change anything? Not really. But guess what? There's a responsibility behind knowing that. All right? And I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you how. Right? Get me Deuteronomy 10. Deuteronomy 10. I'm going to let you know this. This is your purpose on this earth. Uh, child, God's chosen child. I'm going to let you know your purpose while you're on this earth. Not to go, not to just be wandering the, uh, wandering the streets. You know, looking for your next come up. No. Today, the Lord is letting you know your purpose today. What you were put on this earth and destined to do. Lord's willing, you hearken on to the prophets. All right? Deuteronomy 10 and 12. This is why you're here. Deuteronomy 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? So now, knowing that you are a Jew from the tribe of Judah, Christ's blood goes through your veins. There's a requirement for you. There's a requirement for you because God told you something that a lot of people, a lot of people still to this day don't know that it's your people. But he's letting you know today. What's your name, my man? Bobby? Nice to meet you, Elijah, all right? God is letting you know something rather than somebody else. Your purpose and who you are, right? So what does God require of you, Bobby? What doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God. You fear God? You fear God? Oh, okay, all right. Come on. I'm going to show you what it means to fear God, all right? To walk in all his ways. To do what? To walk in all his ways. That's what it means to fear God, to walk in all his ways. Now, I want you to examine yourself right now before being prior told to who you were. And I'm going to show you some things, and we're going to see if the two line up, okay? All right, read on. And to love him. And, and to love him. You love God, right? Okay. Read on. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Now, everything that you just read to serve God, to love God, the last statement that was made to keep the commandments, that's how you fear God. That's how you love God. Keeping God's commandments, okay? Now, Bobby, I'm going to ask you something, all right? Bobby, do you smoke cigarettes? You smoke cigarettes? I'm going to show you something. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 3. I'm going to show you something, a commandment, all right? So, knowing that everybody claims that they're God's children, everybody isn't God's children. The Jews or the Israelites, they're God's children, right? Mm. So now with that being said, God, and I'm going to show you also, God gave his children specific things to do, his commandments. Now I'm going to show you a commandment, all right? Like you say you smoke cigarettes. Now, I used to too, a long time ago. But when I found out what, I, what you just found out today, I had to realize, guess what? Now I have to walk that calling now. now I know what I am. What I am. Like I said, is knowing doesn't stop or change anything. Knowing who you are doesn't stop or change anything. It's a big thing, but there's things required of you now. Right. You have responsibilities. Now, I'm going to show you something. 
1 Corinthians 3 and verse 16. Bring it out. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Did you know that, Bobby? You're the temple of God? Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? God's Spirit is supposed to dwell in you now, Bobby. All right? Read. If any man defile the temple of God, uh -huh. him shall God destroy. Now, there's a re that's the purpose why your brothers are out here. Where your brothers? That's our purpose of being out here today, to warn people, to warn God's chosen people, his people, of the coming destruction. Because this, this kingdom, this kingdom is not going to last forever. Best believe that. But also to warn his children that they're supposed to be on the right path. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.